Oh, hey, this is uh, Brad. I wanted to kind of go over some stuff that may help you sell your house. Um, what you're looking at, I'm, I'm here checking on an inspection. Uh, we already have, uh, I had a pre inspection on this house, and uh, you know, we're just getting everything repaired to, to, for the closing. The, the buyer accepted the uh, inspection, didn't have to, that, that's, that's law, but um, they did. And uh, so we're going through here and fixing all that. So when you're having a, a, a house and you're getting ready to sell it, the big deal usually is the inspection. And it's just a really good um, thing to do is go ahead and get a pre-inspection. Have a licensed inspector come in. They'll do it. They just don't, they're just going to tell you that, hey, we don't, we're not going to, you know, we don't represent the seller. We're not going to guarantee the seller or anything like that. We're just working with you. But what you can do with that inspection report is you can put it on the MLS and do the supplements there so the, the um, agent who's showing the house will have that with them. And can, you know, especially for first time home buyers or you know, if you've had a house that's had a, some situation with an inspection, it's a great thing to do. And a lot of tools that I, that I always bring and you should have is you know, you should have a plug in for the GFIs, always carry a flashlight so you can see it plumbing and some dark areas, but get a pre-inspection because then you get a home warranty. There's no pre-existing conditions if you clean everything up in that inspection. Um, it's just a great thing to do when you're selling a house. I know that I've got five inspections uh, this week. I've already done three. I've got two more this weekend. And so far, all of them have been very, very good because it's very crucial to have that pre-inspection and if you see any issues, uh, you know, to deal with. Now, if you have a newer house, you know, when I say newer, 19, 2000, 2005 or better, you know, you still want to get that done. If you're getting around uh, 2010 or better, you probably don't need it because, you know, the roof. And if your roof is, is another issue, if your roof is over, say, 10, 15 years old, you're going to want to get it certified. And you can easily do that through many, many contractors that are licensed to do that. And it's good to have because then you put it in there in, in the supplements, it's, it's not really an issue. Also, have your heater, air conditioner, hot water heater service and, and, and have the uh, HVAC technician licensed through the city stick it on, on the heater to make sure that that, that, that is that. So all that and, and is just super easy ways to help ensure when you sell your house it's going to sell. Because let's face it, the appraisals aren't a big issue anymore unless you're way over price. Um, in this house here, we just got a pre-inspection, a few things we have to do, nothing major, but we're getting it done. A uh, young lady uh, with, with a couple of kids uh, will be buying it and want to ensure that everything was good. And there's also a warranty coming with the house to do that. I always buy home warranties for my client buyers. If the sellers don't offer it, I go ahead and do it because it's really important that first year uh, not to have any issues. I mean, they can extend it after that if they want, which is very um, prudent to do. So again, get them inspected, get the insurance, uh, offer a home warranty, uh, and, and, and be sure that you're ready when you sell a house to, to make it sold. So um, get a roof cert if it's a little bit older. Make sure your HVAC is, is also uh, certified through it. Licensed HVAC people. It's a great great way to do stuff and I know it's kind of boring to talk about this stuff but it's super super important to understand it if you're selling your house and that your realtor uh, at least has people that can do that for you so again I'm Brett I'm with Century 21 I automatically do that with my listings and always deal with issues before they happen I'm Brett I'm 216-703-5740 with Century 21 Premier and Pepper Pike and also I'm with 602-363-6551, EXP Realty in Phoenix, Arizona. And if you want to uh, sell your house and make sure it closes, there's a few simple things that you can do to help ensure that that's going to actually happen. I close almost all my deals. So give me a call, 216-703-5740 or 602-363-6551. I've got to go look at a uh, pipe underneath there. But, um, have a great day and I appreciate listening to the video.